differentiate 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 with respect to x, I'm going to refer to this function as y. This type of a function is known as a rational function. It's called rational because, in a sense, we have a ratio of two functions, 3x plus 1 all over x minus 2. To differentiate this, we use the quotient rule. The qu a quotient is just another word for a fraction. So, for the quotient rule, our function has the form y equals u over v, where u is some function of x, in this case u is equal to 3x plus 1, and v is another function of x, in this case v equals x minus 2. So we write down u and v, and to get dy dx, we have to differentiate each of these. Differentiate u with respect to x, the derivative of 3x is 3, the derivative of plus 1 is 0. Then we get dv dx, we differentiate v with respect to x. The derivative of 1x is just 1. Remember, if we have 1x to the power of 1, we just multiply 1 by 1 to get 1. x to the power of 1 minus 1, but 1 minus 1 is 0. And any anything to the power of 0 is 1. x to the power of 0 is 1. So our answer is just the coefficient of x, which is 1. Similarly here, um, if I was to go through this more carefully, we, had, we would have 3x to the power of 0, but anything to the power of 0 is 1. So that's just 3 times 1, which is 3. The derivative of a constant is 0. Similarly over here, the derivative of minus 2 is 0. So the next step now is to take these four things that we have and plug them into the following formula. dy dx, that's what we're looking for, is v multiplied by du dx minus u times dv dx all divided by v squared. So we have to take v and multiply by du dx, and then we minus u times dv dx, and divide the whole lot by v squared. So v, in our example, is, is x minus 2. And x minus 2 has two terms in it, and we want to multiply it by du dx, so we put it in brackets. du dx is just 3, minus u, which is 3x plus 1. u consists of two terms, so we bracket this. And that's multiplied by dv dx, which is just 1. And all of this is divided by v squared. Well, v is x minus 2, so we have to take x minus 2 and square it. So we multiply 3 into the brackets here. We multiply 3 by x and 3 by minus 2. That gives us 3x minus 6. And then we multiply 1 into our brackets here, and we have to minus what's inside. So we have minus plus 3x or minus 3x, and minus plus 1 or minus 1. And this is divided by x minus 2 squared. We normally don't bother squaring out the denominator. We simplify the numerator. 3x minus 3x is 0. Minus 6 minus 1 is minus 7. So we want our answer in the form k divided by x minus 2 to the power of n, where k and n are integers. That's what this z here means. It means we're dealing with integers, whole numbers. Uh, so by comparing, you can see that k is minus 7. And what about n? Well, n is just a power here. n is equal to 2. Well, we don't have to explicitly state what k and n are. Just have our answer in this form. Well, actually, this form is automatic. Um, there's no need even to state this about writing this answer, because it's going to automatically be in this form. So you don't have to do anything, really. Just to mention z again, z is the set of integers. Integers are positive or negative whole numbers. So minus 7 is an integer. It's a negative whole number. Plus 2 is an integer. It's a positive whole number. You can check your answer by going to wolframalpha.com and typing in the word differentiate, followed by the function that you want to differentiate. You have to put 3x plus 1 in brackets to indicate that it's all divided by x minus 2. So here we see, we see, what, we see the function ddx means we're going to differentiate this function, and we can see the answer, minus 7 over x minus 2 squared. In part 2, we have the function y equals x squared minus 2x minus 9, all raised to the power of 4. Now, one way we could do this would be to expand it out, to take x squared minus 2x minus 9 and multiply it by itself three times. x squared minus 2x minus 9 will, will be written out four times and multiply it all out, but that's far too time-consuming. So we use a, what's called a chain rule to get around this. 
So the chain rule enables us to differentiate a function like this without expanding out our brackets. So what do we do? Well, we pretend what's inside the brackets is a single term. And we just differentiate around the brackets. So we pretend this is like x, a single x term. x to the power of 4 would become 4x cubed. But we don't have x, we have x squared minus 2x minus 9 to the power of 3. So we bring the 4 down in front of the brackets and take 1 from 4 to get 3. But then we must differentiate what's inside the bracket. So we have to differentiate this with respect to x. If we differentiate x squared, we get 2x. We just bring the 2 down, take 1 from the power we. So we get 2x to the power of 1, or just 2x. When we differentiate minus 2x, we just get the number in front of x, which is minus 2. Uh, more fully, it's minus 2x to the power of 0, because the power here is 1. And when we take 1 from 1, we get 0. But x to the power of 0 is 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So if, you ha if we just have a linear term, that means just an x term, we just write down the coefficient of x. Minus 9 is a constant. When we differentiate minus 9, we get 0. I don't have to write in plus 0. So we have to multiply all of this by 2x minus 2. We have two terms here. We have to put this in brackets. And the next step is to take the 2x minus 2 and multiply it by the 4 in front. This is just for tidying up, just for simplifying. And we don't touch this thing here. This thing is raised to the power of 3. We leave it as it is. Um, if we wanted to multiply everything out, we'd first of all have to raise this to the power of 3, which we normally don't do. So we multiply 4 by 2x minus 2. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. And this is in brackets because it's multiplied by this here. So we need to bracket this because we have more than one term, of course. So that's dy dx. That's the derivative. And we want to get the value of dy dx when x equals minus 2. So that's usually written like, like this, dy dx at x equals minus 2. So basically we just copy this out, replacing x with minus 2. a times minus 2 is minus 16. Minus 16 minus 8 is minus 24. We have minus 2 squared is plus 4. Minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. So we have plus 4 plus 4 is plus 8. Plus 8 minus 9 is minus 1. So we have minus 1 to the power of 3. So we have minus 24 times, well, what's minus 1 to the power of 3? That means minus 1 by minus 1 by minus 1. Minus 1 by minus 1 is plus 1. Plus 1 by minus 1 is minus 1. So our answer is plus 24. You can go to Wolfram Alpha and type in the word differentiate followed by the function. So here, this is how we type in x squared. x squared minus 2x minus 9 and it's raised to the power of 4. And you can see the answer. Actually, 8 has been factorized out of 8x minus 8. See, we, had, we have 8x minus 8 here. I could factorize 8 out of this and I'd have 1x minus 1 inside the brackets. And then we have x squared minus 2x minus 9 cubed. We can also see the derivative of x squared minus 2x min minus 9 to the power of 4 when x equals minus 2. We just type in when x equals minus 2. And uh, we get 24.